Oh, gosh. You thought you could get away with that? Uh, oh, okay. You're haunted. You're haunted. Ah! I'm really scared. Okay. Ooh. Cool. Let's go. Oh, hi. Welcome back to me, Mojo, in Out to Dry on the beautiful Isle of Wolves 3 map. And today I have wandered over towards Amberville because I decided while it was night I would go across the street to the farm and try to get some leather because there's some cows there. I got bit up by a lot of zombies, so I need the pharmacy first and foremost before I go take on the, taking on that oil rig like we're going to do later. So hopefully we can raid our old home, Pizza Street, for some cloth for a bedroll. First of all, I shouldn't be climbing around oil rigs without a bedroll. And uh, like I said, we need that pharmacy. Now there are some changes to the map. It is not completely similar to Isle of Wolves 2, so... Maybe the pharmacy's not even there. It looks like it kind of is, though, but let's find out. Hey, if nothing else, there's kind of this cool yellow van. It's not an ambulance, but uh, it might have to do. Oh, gosh. I'm already... Oh, I've already reached crisis level. We gotta get to that pharmacy quick. Ooh, sandwich. Oh, I love this game. Pre-made sandwiches and pizzas. Gotta very sneakily try to progress down the street, though, because uh, time's a ticking now. I think, right? Once you get below 50%, it's kind of a foregone conclusion. If you don't heal up soon. Okay, it's actually a practitioner's office. It probably has been all along. I was calling it a pharmacy, but you knew what I meant. Now, the only thing that matters is whether or not there is medicine in here. Purification tablets and rags. That's a good start. Uh, let's down these. Oh, yeah. That was good for me. Okay, emergency averted, but we're here, so we might as well stock up because I actually don't specifically know where another pharmacy or practitioner office or anything like that is, and I'm I'm sure I'm going to get bit up a lot between now and whenever, <laughs> so best to stock up for sure, and you know while we're here, we're going to check out the pizza shop, right? You know we are. Oh, it's like a, a duffly bag thing. I don't know if it holds more than the leather pack I made out of that cow that cost me my life almost. But at least we have it now. <laughs> Nothing else that can make it into a bedroll or part of one. Um, so yeah, on the agenda now is to raid the clothing store and last but not least, check out the pizza shop because if there's a pizza there... <sighs> it's such a great feeling when you find a whole pizza. Oh man, there is clothes coming out the wazoo in here. Oh, this place is always so bountiful. We're going to have a bedroll for <coughs> sure. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. You made your point. All right. This store treated me right because, look, I have a bedroll now. So let's sneak in here to the pizza shop, my all-time favorite location on the map, rivaled only by the famed Eagle Raceway, and see if there's any pizza. Oh, is this a pizza? It is. It's only 10%, but a pizza is a pizza, guys. We're keeping it. See if there's any upgraded pizzas on the premises. Uh, mm, Sody pop. Got some tuny fish. Uh, no pizzas in the oven. I was hoping for a high quality pizza. I mean, I can't express the joy of finding a 100% pizza, but it is considerable. <laughs> so that, that's fine. That just gives us a reason to come back, right? So I think for now, I will take this. I wish I could refuel it. And we'll take it kind of over just to the water's edge here where I left my other vehicle. And uh, yeah, we'll get back to work. Hey, it's snowing, wow. Oh, oh wow, what a view. Oh, oh, oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. <gasps> That's a, that's, that's not a hill, that's a cliff, that's, oh, no, 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 where even am I, what is up and down, uh, okay, <sighs> anyway, I think we're really close, so it's fine, we just need to, Cut this direction. Obviously, I went off the wrong way. 
But it was worth it. We saw some snow. All right, so we're basically all set. We got a claimed bed. We got a door. We have just the tiniest bit of ammo, which is hopefully all we'll need across the street here. I'm just going to collect a couple pieces of food just to make sure we're good. And uh, then we'll head across. Yes, it's finally time. We're finally going to see what's over here. I have a feeling, maybe this is just me being a little pessimistic, I have a feeling that there will not be a viable helicopter over there but I guess we just won't know till we try okay so if I can just make it up onto the deck without having to retreat I will already have done better than last time so I say we duck low do it ninja style because I'm a little just scared a little scared oh gosh I'm not I'm not with it <gasps> Splint. Oh, oh, I'm doing worse than last time no I'm not, no I'm not, no I'm not, they're dead. It's fine. I'm panicking, but I'm fine. Now this is the quote unquote helicopter, but as you can see, it's pretty decorative. So we won't be leaving in style, that's for sure. We'll probably be swimming back. But you know what? That's fine. First piece of loot, and it is a metal scrap. So, kind of disappointing so far. Is this a, can I, I don't. I have a feeling if I jump for that, it's a trap. Maybe we'll come back to it. Okay, first little building area. Nothing in here so far. It kind of rem Jeez. It reminds me of the little boat on the harbor in the Hawaii map that I've been playing a lot of lately. Let's see downstairs. Nope, just a vacant room. Okay. At least there's gas. But I don't have a gas can or anything to put gas in. This is as far as I can go. Am I supposed to jump for that ladder? That seems like crazy talk. I don't think that's going to work. <gasps> Lettuce. And a planter. Okay, great. Now I can have some semblance of... Oh, oh, look what was hiding up here. We got some ranger ammo, a plaid shirt, and a crummy old tomato. Now we're talking, right? Can I jump across here? I don't know. Do I have any parkour skill? That's probably going to behoove me. Where is the parkour skill? Okay. Oh, I'm one shy. I need 20 and I have 19. Uh, it feels real bad. Um, <laughs> this is ridiculous, but I'm going to try it. <gasps> it worked! Wow, I can't believe that happened. Oh, oh, this is a... Uh, should I be up here? Everything. Oh, Katana. I'm using that right away. And look at this cool webby skin I have for it now. That was uh, donated to me very generously by a viewer who I call Ghost. Thank you for that. They're all wearing biohazard stuff. It's making me nervous because I don't want to be irradiated. Oh, another Katana. A GPS, that's always good, even though I kind of already have a map. At least now it's detailed. And over here I'm seeing a gas can. Or a, I don't know, a jerry can? What do you call it? Oh, these guys are tough. I've never been in here. Oh my god, look at this. It's like a little scale model of a town. Is this one of the towns in the map? I have no idea, but I'm like... I'm super in awe. Everything I discover about this map just is so over the top. This is just such an overall fantastic map. I There's nothing they could do that would make me not recommend the map at this point. It's just so good. Okay, out here is a lot of stuff going on. Um, is that... <laughs> it almost looks like swampy water, but I think it's just green, like, floor. So I need to stop chickening out. Before I go and face this army of zombies, I'm just going to have a little soda pop to fuel me. And uh, let's get this slithery one right out of the way. Oh gosh. Oh, he bit me. He got me. Oh my god. Is this it for me? Is this it for me? Please don't be it for me. Oh, okay. Uh, barely made it out of that one alive. But at least I have a biohazard hood. I might need to retreat, because this might be, like, in over my head status. I'm kind of scared. All right. Let's just try to go a little further. I went ahead and repaired this katana, so that hopefully it'll hit just a little harder now. Okay, now we're doing okay, actually. 
Headshots from the back, stealthy ninja style. What could go wrong? And they're all wearing some kind of night vision or headlamps or something, so I'm really getting my hopes up that I might get something like that. But let's go up here. Nothing, but at least no danger. All right, a straight up Scorpion 7 building. There's gotta be something worthwhile in here. I wasn't expecting this to be like a, I don't know, a, well, like a Scorpion 7 area. <laughs> I thought it'd just be like a cool little oil rig with a helicopter and hopefully some, you know, guns and ammo, but nothing too crazy. But yeah, this is a straight up crazy area, really cool area in that model town I cannot get over. I'm still thinking about it. Oh, hey, a Viper magazine. Maybe we can get something a little more impressive going than a ace and a hawk hound with barely any ammo between the two of them. If we keep looking, if we stay courageous, keep looking around, it is possible we could leave here on our second day of being on this map with a real gun, with real ammo. Oh, okay. <gasps> and there it is, our first Viper. Yes. So much better than this bad boy, which fare thee well, because upgrade. <laughs> only had one bullet in it anyway. I am a little concerned because it is getting quite dark. Oh, I'm, I'm not going down there. Not in the dark. No, 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 no. And I don't have a flashlight. I don't have a headlamp. I got none of that stuff. So I don't, I don't really know how to proceed if this takes too much longer. Come on. Yeah. Well, for now, we'll just keep killing. We do have some daylight left. And a, a headlamp could drop at any time. Oh, God, I fell. I fell right through that crack. I was not watching where I was going. Oh, boy. Is there any easy way back up there? I'm thinking probably not, right? Doesn't seem like there's much to the underwater either, if you're curious. So, um, hmm. Oh, wait, is this, is this something? No, it's just a great big pipe. Okay, well, I have an idea. <laughs> For now, since it's dark anyway, we'll just go home. And first thing in the morning, we'll come back over here and get right back to it. And maybe by then, some more stuff will be spawned. Who knows? Oh, goodness me. It is a full moon, but I got my planter going and, uh... I mean, we're waiting for the sun to come up anyway, so it's fine. Okay, uh, back on the boat. Already getting attacked by zombies, but, uh, I think for the most part we should try to cut straight... Uh, cargo shorts, yes! Yeah, straight to, um, the main event. Just go straight up here to this thing again. And try to pick up where we left off. Alright, moment of truth. Jump! Oh, made it again, yeah! So I don't think we had gone up in this tower that's right next to the ladder. Um, I'm quite confident we didn't. I don't know if anything will be in here at the top, but let's look. And we have <laughs> binoculars, which is appropriate because the view up here is, it is kind of nice. I, I'll give them that. It is kind of nice. All right, all right, we'll do it, we'll do it. Ooh, what is that anyway? We'll have to go check that out. Cool. Very cool. Okay, we we definitely did not go up there, but I don't I don't see a way for that to be possible. Oh gosh. You thought you could get away with that? Uh, oh, okay. You're haunted. You're haunted. Ah. I'm really scared. Okay. Ooh. Cool, a scope. So yeah, uh I don't think there's anything I could use to jump onto that as far as I can tell, but we'll try. But yeah, I might need to build something if I ever want to go up there. Does that even go up or is that... It's a mystery. It's a mystery. I wish we could solve it, but we cannot. Not at this time. A flanker killed me. <laughs> he snuck up right beside me when I wasn't paying attention. And got me. Ah! So I'm going to try to sneak over there and collect my things. I'll end it here to spare you the trouble of having to see that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry we didn't get any further on this barge, but I'll try to show it to you at some point. I'll see you then.